Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and back yet again with yet another Batman 66 video and today we're going to be checking out some of the brand new offerings from McFarlane Toys. We got a playset, we got a vehicle, and we have another action figure. First and foremost being the radioactive cowl Batman. This is one of those where it's just a very simple repaint, however it's really the accessories that makes this figure. On the back side, you get to see a few photos, how he kind of stacks up with the Batcave, yada yada. And here's the barcode as well. These are starting to hit Target store shelves now. As far as vehicles go, we finally have the Batman 66 Bat Boat, which does look awesome. I'm very stoked to have this representation of the Bat Boat. Make sure you get yourself a good looking one. They are open packaging, just keep that in mind. And on the back side, you got a photo of the Bat Boat, you got Batman, you got all the cool Batman graphics, yada yada. But again, much like the Batmobile, it's really fun to have the Bat Boat. And here's the barcode for the Bat Boat as well, which then brings us to the Wayne Manor Library playset. This marks the third playset. Figures are not included. I'll talk more about that in just a few, but on the back side of the packaging, you get to see it all unfurled, all the different accessories that it comes with, and here is the barcode as well. As I said, these are all starting to hit Target store shelves. That's where I found mine, but these are now seemingly moving away from Target and going to be available everywhere. So if you don't want to get a Target, I'll put links down in the description below for Entertainment Earth because it looks like they're kind of going to be opening up the line which does present for a lot of great things, hopefully, fingers crossed, in the future. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys, the Bat Boat, the Radioactive Batman, and the Wayne Manor playset by McFarlane Toys. And while I got all you swinging 60s swingers here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my Batman 66 videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. I absolutely love this line. It is fantastic display, just to tell you what. Here is the radioactive Batman all out of the packaging. If you're not familiar, it comes from a particular episode where the Mad Hatter, yeah, he was in Batman 66, wants Batman's cowl. He makes the cowl radioactive in the hopes that Batman will take it off for decontamination and uh, that he'll have the opportunity to grab the cowl to add to his uh, collection of hats. Yeah, that's the Mad Hatter for you in a nutshell right there. But this particular Batman, like I said, nothing special. It's totally goofy, but it's really the accessories like the sweet Batman 66 Batarang. So if you want it for your regular Adam West Batman, which... Seems you could put a little rope in there too. That's kind of cool. I might end up doing that. You also get the bat radio. It's very cool. Again, I'm very glad they included a different accessory. It's missing a little bit of paint though. If you look at what's seen in the show, like a little bit of a yellow around the speaker system. But again, it's nice to have a different accessory. The Batman, like I said over and over, exact same. He just has a pink cowl now. It's one of those... What the heck? It's Batman 66, totally wackadoo, but it definitely does make for a fun repaint, I'll tell you that. Now, we definitely need the Mad Hatter, so fingers crossed they have him a-coming. But as I said, there is not much difference here except for a pink cowl. Other than that, the articulation, the paint, the look, everything is the exact same. But the accessories definitely do make this figure worth getting or maybe you want to wait till he goes on clearance but in either case this pink cowl batman or all the batmans prior can definitely hold the accessories which then brings us to the bat boat a very sleek sexy elegant vehicle looks like it drove right out of the show with the exception of that sparkly paint i think they really could have done something cool with that if it had been applied the bat boat however is Pretty well done. It's very light though, just keep that in mind. It has its fire decal on the side. And for the most part, yeah, it's perfect for what you want as far as Batman 66. I will say though, if it had a little bit more oomph to it, weight, that would have been much better. The little fin on the top can rotate to and fro if you want to put it down. A extra fire accessory I think would have been cool. They keep skimping on that kind of thing. It has lots of sculpted details, 
pretty good paint for what is there. You got the throttle, you got some buttons, you got the steering wheel. The steering wheel does not move, and it has the two clear plastic windshields on the top. On the bottom, though, not much going on. Again, make sure you get yourself a good-looking one. Mine on the bottom has a little bit of a scuffage here and there, but for the most part, like I said, it's on the bottom, so it's not too big a deal. In fact, I think the only thing it's missing would be a stand because then it gets very lopsided. But it does come with these red stickers, and those are taped inside the box right there, so make sure you don't throw away the stickers because then you won't have those sweet pinstripes that the bat boat has it does come with instructions on the flip side tells you how to install said stickers it's not going to be too much of a brain buster but if you're anything like me and you're terrible at putting stickers on i would have gladly paid an extra five bucks just to have them painted on stickered on something like that but before we get into putting stickers on i'm going to take this for a spin in the pool to see if the old bat boat floats with Batman and Robin. Ha! And lo and behold, it actually floats in the water. That is awesome. It's nice and sturdy as long as you don't make waves and throw it around. Yeah, it'll float with Batman and Robin. I had thought about putting the stickers on. I think I'm gonna leave the stickers off for now, but hey, at least it floats. So now that we checked that out and you have Batman and Robin inside the Bat Boat, I love that they fit beautifully. That's awesome to have a two-seater vehicle that's fantastic. Very happy with how that came out. Even just kind of zooming around. Batman, of course, only has one steering wheel holding hand. The other one is a fisted hand. In future Batman releases, that would be nice to change up the hands. But just in having Batman and Robin in this bat boat, well, that is pretty darn cool if you ask me. Now, hold on just a second. I went back and I looked at all the photo solicitations. And indeed, there is a stand included. And you know what? Lo and behold, when we were looking at the whole red stickers on the back, within the plastic, underneath, there is a stand. So please don't throw that away like I did and had to go fishing it out because there's nothing on the box that talks about the stickers or the stand. So just be very careful. It's not much of a stand. It's just a plastic stand, which does the trick in keeping the bat boat aloft so it's not constantly rocking to and fro. So just as a word of warning, don't throw the stickers away and definitely do not throw the stand away because you'll totally regret it in standing your bat boat. If you were wondering how big this bat boat is, well, if you have the new, keep calling it Batman Returns, Batman 89, but it's the Flash Batmobile, well, the Batmobile is a definitely bigger. But if you're looking in terms of the Batman 66 Batmobile, yeah, they're roughly the same size. The Batmobile has it by just maybe an inch or two, but they're roughly the same size. Perhaps the Batmobile just has a little bit more in weight. Which brings us to the big old Mamma Jamma playset. And I absolutely love the playsets. The Batcave was awesome. The Villain's Lair was awesome. And now you have Wayne Manor Library, along with the, all these accessories to be included for that whole playset ensemble now the playset is all plastic it does have wallpaper adorning the walls along with some framed artwork when you move over to where the bat poles are the door will slide open and you have books along with a law school degree for bruce wayne so that's very cool to see along with all these accessories again that's what really brings these play sets to life like this fireplace piece right here it's done nicely. It's very hollow plastic. It's no frills. It has little pegs on the back, which will then allow you to peg it into the wall over here. So it's just simplistic, but it is definitely effective, much like this very simple green chair. As long as it's angled right in your display, yeah, totally works. Along with some Victorian looking lights, perfect for a very gothic Batman mansion. On the backside, you'll see right there, it will peg into the wall up top, just above the law school degree. You also get a globe, which is kind of sort of effective. I would say the globe itself is missing a lot of detail, but it's sturdy enough. It's effective. It's simple, but I would have liked a little bit more deco paint on that. It also comes with a lamp. No frills here. It's a lamp. It looks kind of like a cartoony lamp, along with a dresser drawer, which has lots of drawers in it, but incredibly hollow 
on the back side. And you also get the red bat telephone. So if Commissioner Gordon needs to get in touch with Batman, and of course Alfred answers it, but unfortunately it does not unhook. That would have been really cool to be able to answer the phone, right? Along with the statue, which is nicely done. Nice bronze looking statue. It's articulated, the neck goes back, and then you can push the button. I really wish they would have emphasized the button a little bit more with some paint, but that is awesome, along with a desk so that you can put the phone and the statue on top. It's very effective, it's very simple. On the back side of the playset, this is a separate piece which you simply install, but once it's in, it was already in. And then you have this door right here, which you kind of have to get your nail in there, kind of move it to and fro, and it opens to reveal the Dick and Bruce Bat Cave Bat Poles. <laughs> Great names for those, right? I do wish that these would have been yellow to kind of match the poles for the Batcave. The door, like I said, works fine, but you kind of have to get your finger in there and then make sure you're doing it correctly. It can be kind of awkward at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to slide it to and fro. A push button slider, now uh, that would have been awesome, right? Something to that degree, but the playset itself is very effective and can kind of fold up a little bit. And just to kind of show you how to set everything up, which of course you can customize it however you'd like, but every little piece does have a perfect place. Put a little butler action in there. That's the Mattel DC Multiverse, not McFarlane. We definitely do need a McFarlane Batman 66 one, but it's a very effective Wayne Manor library. However, the one hiccup I think is that this playset really should have come with either a Bruce Wayne or a Dick Grayson in civilian clothes, or better yet, an Alfred. That would have been a perfect playset to include. So while it's definitely effective, it definitely works, I think it's definitely missing an Alfred, but much like the other playsets, it's cool, but not as effective just yet. We need a few more characters, like just Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson, to really fill out this playset. So that'll wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Batman 66, the radioactive Batman, you have the Bat Boat, and of course, the Wayne Manor playset. All of them are solid entries. All of them could have used maybe a little bit more oomph, right? Perhaps wait for a clearance on some, but I would say the playset is definitely solid. The Bat Boat will kind of go back and forth, and the accessories really do make the radioactive Batman. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk A, everything Batman 66. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, here's hoping the line continues and we get a lot more cool characters, especially Bookworm, Lord Deathman, and you got to do Mad Hatter. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.